To set up MaxDiff in your survey, the first thing you'll want to do is log into your account and click on edit. Make sure you're in your workspace and then click on add question. Next, click on advanced and scroll down to choice models and select the MaxDiff template. Once you've selected it, then you can go ahead and update your question and add your answer options in bulk on the bottom right hand. And so you can go ahead and copy and paste those in. For this example, we're going to go ahead and use credit cards and ask people which one they most and least prefer. Once you have those set up, then you can go into the settings of the MaxDiff question and update your maximum attributes, your attributes per task, and how many times you would like to repeat those. With max attributes, that means that it's going to test all of the credit cards. And I have six of them here. If I just say out of the six, I just want to do four four at a time per person, then you can set it up as such. However, um, if there is an issue where you want to do four at a time but show three, then the system will show you that there is an issue where it has to be divisible by the attributes per task. So do keep that in mind. In this case, we're going to go ahead and test all of the attributes, and then we're going to do three credit cards on each page per time, um, and that's just the attributes per task and then we're going to ask the system to test each of the credit cards twice so in this case what you'll see is max attributes divided by the attributes per task times the repeat attributes and that will give you the total task counts and this is calculated by the system so once that's set up you can also then include images if you'd like. So if you want to go ahead and add images, this you'll be able to access your library. So you can click on this and then save it. And once you have the image included, you can also resize it by accessing the settings and then indicate what size you would like to include. So you can do small, medium, large, auto size to window, or if you scroll down to the bottom here, you'll see custom. In this case, we'll keep them as small, and I'll go ahead and add all of the images. So two more, add in city and Capital Venture. And all of these are going to be sized to be the same. And then you can choose to decide if you want to make it bigger or if you'd like to go ahead and make it all smaller. Next, let's go ahead and do a preview of what the respondent will see. So if you click on this, you can see that they will be asked for each of the questions below, please choose your most and least preferred. And we have three to choose. And then we can select the options. And you can see step two out of four is next. And here's the last one. Once the data has been collected, then you can go into the analytics. So click on the analytics tab and what you'll want to do to see the overall results and the share of preference is by going to the choice modeling and select max diff analysis. And what you'll see here is the share of preference on the left side, which is the overall share of preference of what is the most and least preferred. Um, and then on the left side, you'll see the share of preference based on most and least in red and green. And if you'd like to go ahead and see this, um, you can also include filters based off of what they've picked. So if you say Visa most and Visa and City most, we can do a comparison below of these options. 
and do a comparison report and generate a line chart and also review the details. So you can see that the overall is the visa is the winner. And then again, you'll see the details, which is very similar to what we saw above. But then if you'd like to compare that with uh, those that do pick visa most, you can see the ones that do pick visa most, their answers in terms of um, in terms of ranking out the next, the you know, the top two or three, or, you know, most to least, you can see how that breaks down from Visa, Amex, City, Capital One, etc. And then last but not least, we do have the city most picked, and you can see their details as well, and do a comparison um, between all of those. So that is um, the basics of the online report that we give to you. And you can also include your filters that you build inside the data segmentation tool here. And if you'd like to get the raw data, all you'll need to do is go to the top right hand and you'll be able to download an Excel spreadsheet or an SPSS of the report right here. Thank you.